Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Artisan Electric's YouTube channel. And behind me is today's project. So, as always, hit a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and let's get into it. It's a blank unit that we're working on today. So we've got this beautiful blank canvas to work on. Uh, distribution board is here and we're going to basically be putting in a cable tray all the way around three phase 32 amp commando sockets in various places and single phase commando sockets oh, and here we have our delivery arrived from uni trunk we've got our cable tray arriving so i better just go and take receipt of that right so cable tray has arrived so that's good so we are fitting this 225 medium gauge cable tray We've got these can cantilever brackets to go on the wall to mount it on most of the way around. And basically we're gonna run from the DB here, we've got two new three-phase circuits and one single-phase circuit to go in, run all the way around, cantilever brackets along this wall above that, that emergency light to there. Then we're gonna flat mount it on this end wall here. We're gonna run all the way along here, behind there, flat mounted on that wall and then we're gonna go back to cantilever brackets all the way along here. And basically we've got nine single phase sockets to go sort of one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, uh, well, there is nine somehow. Um, and then six three phase sockets. So we've got like one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six three-phase sockets to go in. Um, this uni trunk stuff looks pretty good actually. I've not used it before, but it looks fairly decent. So I'm gonna get the laser level up. I've brought myself a new, um, new green laser level because my old red one that I've had for a few years has packed in. Well, the, the, um, the horizontal line on it has packed in. So I'm just going to um, be using this. It should be pretty nice, so I'll get it cracked open and let you know how I get on with it. And um, I'll leave a link in the description for this if you want to buy one yourself. And also, I'll probably do a review about it on my at Tools for Sparks channel. So um, head over there if you haven't done so already and check that out because I do post videos all about tools on there. So we're going to put the brackets just below that white wall there. And um, the laser actually is not, <laughs> it's so bright in here, it's like the sunniest day that we've had in weeks and so the laser just uh, hardly shows up. But we're, we've got a straight line anyway with that wall, it's pretty straight so we're just going to follow that and butt the brackets up to the top of it. Um, we tried going in the plasterboard because we wanted to go a little bit higher but uh, there's no, it's double boarded and then there's no like studs to fix to so we thought it's we're going to get a better fixing on that brick wall and when we go onto this wall we're going to go flat against the wall and just space it off slightly so that we can get the cable ties in and run that straight across all the way across to here and then we'll go back to our cantilever brackets along here so that will take us all the way along to the end and we're going to space the brackets every meter so like this um, they're pretty decent solid brackets um, so what every meter will be will be fine and then just drop down off the back of the tray into the sockets we've got these um, Luden uh, 32 amp commando sockets with an isolator and a, thir uh, a 30 milliamp RCD so we'll be able to just loop the armors in and out one in one out at the top and then the socket and then we've got these MK metal clad double sockets as well for the single phase circuit. We've got nine of those to go in, six of these commando sockets. So we're going to do two 32 amp radial circuits, half of these on each circuit, and then just one 32 amp radial for the 13 amp sockets on a 32 amp RCBO. And we're wiring it in four mil cable. So four mil SWA LSF. Um, three core for the single phase circuit, five core for the three phase circuit. Um, so just going to get on a time lapse and start putting everything in. All 
right, so it's about coffee time. But we're doing pretty well. These brackets have gone in really nicely and um, it's nice and solid. Got the cable tray mounted up on this first little section. Andy's been going round putting up the brackets. I marked everything first. So he's just up to there now. Uh, we've just got the rest of that wall to do. And then I'm just going around mounting the tray and mounting the sockets. So we've got here a 13 amp double socket and we're going to be having one cable going in and then one cable going out. And then a 32 amp commando socket. These are really nice, these Luden commando sockets. You've got a RCD here or RCCB as it's called, uh, 30 milliamp, 40 amp, and then you've got an isolator and the 32 amp commando socket. And again, we're gonna just go in and out with these, do them on a radial, three on one circuit and three on the other circuit. So the cables will just loop off the back of the tray and then just run down the wall neatly and we'll just cleat the cables down to the sockets each time. So, uh, yeah, getting there, it's um, looking fairly good so far. The tricky part's gonna be getting along the wall to the DB there. We've got to figure out something a little bit special for that. And also this side, well, this is not so tricky actually. We're just gonna run a, a straight run flat along the wall there in a straight line. We've kept these the same height, even though actually that white wall is lower than uh, this one but just for the sake of neatness, um, having it matching in a straight line all the way around, we thought it's better to just keep them at the same height. Um, and the laser level's been good, actually. I need to turn it off because it's wasting the battery, but it's, um, I managed to use it to mark the holes all the way along. This is about 12 meters, all the way along up to here. It is a bit faded here, you can't see it because it is a bright day, but if, I found that if I just put my hand against the wall, then I could see the laser on my hand and then I could use that to do the cross mark. So, yeah, I'm glad I got it. It's definitely brighter than the red one and it looks cool because it's green. <laughs> it looks a bit alien-like. So, uh, yeah, so far, so good. So, you, I don't know if you can see it there. He's a bit camera shy, so he doesn't want to be filmed, but that's Andy. And as soon as I said the word coffee, he's run over to that little van and I reckon he's getting himself a bacon sarni or something. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, he was very excited. Did offer me a coffee. He brought me a McDonald's coffee this morning, which was very kind of him, a nice cappuccino. And um, he just offered to buy me another drink, but I said no, because I've got my flask of coffee here and I got my bottle of water and I'm trying to be healthy and not eat loads of bacon sarnies and uh, stuff. Yeah, look at that. What's he got? Oh, he's got two bottles. Two bottles of oh water. Okay, water and crisps. No, a bacon sarnie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So a little cable tray lesson. Sometimes you can get these lined up exactly, but this time I've not managed somehow. Um, so I'm gonna have to drill new holes here but these let me know what you call these i've always called these zebs like zebedee because they're like doing 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 but i think they're called spring spring nuts or something zebs anyway let me know what you call them but um you basically they, they go in this unistrut channel you just push them down and then twist them and then they kind of stay in place because they are, um, the spring holds them, holds them in the right place. So, and then you've got these, what are called roofing bolts, which are basically like a, an M6 bolt with a flat, a sort of a pan head. So I'm just gonna drill. Normally you can, if you line them up, you can just go through these holes, but in this case, it's not quite lined up. So I'm gonna just drill a six mil hole in here and then pop the roofing bolts through just to bolt this cable tray down. I always do this, I'm wearing my safety glasses on my head when I should have them in front of my eyes.
So it's going really well so far. We've end of the day, we've finished all the cable tray, got the sockets mounted on the wall. So I'll give you a little tour in a minute. But I just wanted to talk to you about our video sponsor for today, which is Tradeify. Now, I've mentioned Tradeify before. They're a job management platform for tradesmen, including electricians. And it's really an easy and simple way to keep track of all your work in one place. So what I love about Tradeify is you can have everything on their platform. You can get all your inquiries coming through there. You can do your invoices, do your quotes on there. You can even do all your scheduling and job tracking on there. So it's a great platform. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you who are interested. Head over to Tradeify's website using my link. And there's a discount code. If you use my discount code, you'll get 50% off your first three months with Tradeify. So let's give you a tour. So this is the distribution board, and as you can see, it's a three-phase TNCS system. All been nicely, neatly done, pretty much, so that's good, although some of the other stuff you will see is a little bit dodgy, but anyway, we can ignore that and just focus on what we've done. So we've put this cable tray in now, along here. Just did a little set down there, and then flat to the um, metallic uh, building. And then along here, Nice run of cable tray all the way along. We've got our single phase and three phase sockets mounted on the walls there. And then along at the end here, we jump up onto the wall because obviously we've got these obstacles to get behind. So that upright there is just ready for tomorrow for cable pulling. It will just help to stop the cable from falling off the tray when we're pulling it in. So we'll remove that afterwards, but we'll just jump across and then run the cables along this tray all the way along the wall. And we've got sockets on these walls as well. So what we've done is we've drilled 50 mil holes here so that we can drop straight down from the cable tray down through the 50 mil hole. We're gonna put a brass bush and lock ring on this so it's a nice smooth hole to go through. And then straight down into the top of the sockets. Same with the three phase, straight off the cable tray and drop straight down. And that's the same principle here, basically. So we've got another single phase, three, uh, 13 amp socket there, another 13 amp socket and a um, 32 amp commando socket. Cable tray ends there. Then we jump back onto the flat mounted with the um, cantilever brackets. We've got little end caps to go in these uni struts just to neaten that off. That's a nice little trick that just enables you to make it look a bit neater. So those are arriving tomorrow. And then we've got another three phase socket here and a single phase socket. And then another single phase and another single phase. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole building. Yeah, so here's a kind of a wide angle view so you can see the whole kind of package now of what we've done. And uh, pretty pleased with, uh, we've had a good day's work really getting all that cable tray in in one day and all the sockets mounted. So tomorrow it's literally just a case of pulling in all the cables, uh, cable tying them onto the cable tray and then terminating them and connecting all the sockets and then connecting up everything into the DB. It's nice because the building's empty so we can literally just cut the main isolator, turn off all the power while we work in the DB so we can work really, really safe. And um, yeah, it's been a fun little project so far really. I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. So stay tuned for tomorrow where I will show you pulling in cables and connecting up sockets. Thanks for watching and have a great day.